Well, I was just talking to my boy on the phone. He's down in South Carolina, and uh, down there when they get a cold spell, it's like 40 degrees or something like that. Uh, and I was just telling him it's nine degrees here right now, and I came out here a while ago. I set this red light up to work on it, and I was debating on whether it was better to start the heater or just leave the door open so I could stand here in the sunlight. And you know, standing here in the sunlight to me at nine degrees feels warmer than it's felt in here with me working with that heater blasting and going uh, it's nine degrees in Maine when you're used to it don't feel that cold especially when it's dry so with that said you can see what I got to do this bolt maybe you can't see that let me get a little sunlight in there see that bolt right there I got to loosen it up and see those threads look a little bad but that's a that's a big old bolt, and if I can get my big trusty wrench on it, I should be able to turn it. Uh, I've also got some big half-inch truck wrenches over here, or one-inch truck wrenches, whatever you call them. But I'll go ahead and uh, put a little uh, PB blaster on that. I don't see any PB blaster. I see if there's any of this. Uh, just a little something to loosen that up good. Let's we'll see if we can get it loose with my... Uh, big ring. All right, I was able to get that loose, and uh, I didn't have to put a wrench on it really at all do it. Um, you see how these things are notched. I just put my screwdriver in one of these notches and took my hammer and tapped it and that got it started and now it's loose enough where I can turn it with my fingers and see how this is going to work. Is I'll unscrew this baby right here. This one will go right in there. Put that same nut right back on top of it and you notice these little grooves in this edge and there's little grooves in this edge that basically keeps the wind from whistling this thing around. It locks it in place once you get it in there. Uh, what I'll do is I'll, I'll take my brush grinder and I'll uh, clean that up. But that's pretty nasty. And then I'll stick that back in there and then run my wires through and they'll come out through this hole, go through the side of my garage and that'll be how this thing will, uh, will mount up on the side of my building here. And then what I'll probably do is cut this other piece off, stick it on this piece and put it in through the bottom. Same idea right there. Oh, it's a thing of beauty.